is Julie. Welcome to my channel. You're watching Treasures Made From Yarn and it's April 1st so this video is my stash down video for all the stuff I did in March and there's a lot, quite a bit of stuff here. Also to include some stuff you've not seen because they are new finished projects that I got done at the end of March. Include a couple hats. This is the first hat. It's like a scrappy yarn hat and it's got it's kind of like the messy bun hat. And I know my my hair is though it's long hair, it's not long enough to make it work with the messy bun hat. But yeah, this it's just a bunch of scrap. And a lot of it is two strands. Two the three strands of size one to two weight together. So very interesting hat. Ended with a crab stitch on the bottom. All right, so let us see how much this hat weighs. Oh, I got a scale here, down here. So this hat is exactly four ounces or 114 grams. I'll probably end up I don't know, I, might, I like the colors. I might wear this hat. Maybe my hair will get long enough to use the messy bun portion, but you know, a lot of hats we're making are going to get donated. Alright, so this next hat turned out to be quite long and it probably is more going to be a slouchy hat. This is the Bag of Day hat of the past week and the Bats, the Bod Hat Palooza is hosted by Laura over at Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. So let me check out her channel. This video for her weekly bot hat videos. And now no, I think I forgot to mention the Stash Down 2024 is hosted by Bridget over at Queen's Craft by Bridget. So as I've been doing this now, this is my second year of doing Stash Down. And I think this is her second year of doing it. So yeah, it turned out a little big. I think I watched the video for the first part of it and I think I just went on with it. And I don't know, it turned out turned out very big and slouchy. So but it's kinda cool. I like the colors and the yarn. I don't remember exactly the yarn, but I do remember where I got it from and the yarn came from Timu. Or Timu, however you pronounce it. So alright, yeah, very it turned out big and it's gonna be a slouchy hat. Probably donate this hat. Too. I know it's purple, I might keep it. Who knows? Plus, I'm not sure if this yarn is going to be washable or dryable. Oh, okay, so this hat is 4.2 ounces or 119 grams. That's that hat. Alright, we're probably going to go on to our next project that is neither a hat or a bag. More on the bags in a bit. And it is this dishcloth. If I, yeah, this is a dishcloth where I had, where I was experimenting with Microsoft Copilot, which is an AI program to tell them to write up a dishcloth pattern. And it didn't work out. It was a hot mess. So I had we wrote up to I think what it was trying to tell me, and that is this dishcloth pattern. So, okay, so this dishcloth is only one ounce. No, oh, yeah, one ounce. We'll call it one ounce. It's like one ounce point nine or twenty six grams. Right. So I feel like the next, next rest of the project, most of these projects are going to be hats or bags. So this is a bag o' day pattern. It is. This is, what should, we did a, obviously it's a headband using bulky weight yarn. Got a couple buttons on it. Nice and soft. I like how, I like how, I like how this one turned out. Pretty cool. Okay, scale just turned off. Mm -hmm. 
So this headband weighs three ounces or 86 grams. All right, so yeah, you've probably recently seen this hat. It's the thermal stitch hat. Following again, it's the bag of day hat. Like the thermal stitch stitch. Wasn't sure how I felt about this hat, but I like the colors. It does have an obvious seam in the back and I made a brim. This is mostly a cottony feel yarn. Of course, like I bought this yarn off Tamu. That is that hat. Let's see how much this is. That's pretty heavy, so I'll bet you it will weigh quite a bit. Oh, hold on. Oh, it is. Oh, I can't get the whole still on the scale. It is a 5.2 ounces. 150 grams. That's that hat. All right, another bag of day hat. It's what I kind of like. It's the shell. It's it's a, I think it's supposed to be a brimmed hat. Shells on it. Kind of cute. The, I, the yarn I used this was uh, the Joanne's yarn. I think it's the Big Twist yarn. That is that is cute. Oh, turn the scale back on. All right, that hat only weighed 2.5 ounces or 70 grams. Right, I think this is the last hat and for this month. It is also, again, a day hat. I do like this one's kind of cool too because it had the alternating front and back post. This cute little stitch, it had, it had inspired me for a project you're going to see in a bit. But, okay, so I had again, another bag of day hat because we do bad hat palooza. Again, check out Laura at Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming for that. Of course, she, she, her weekly videos will come out every Tuesday for the bot hat. Right, that hat is 3.7 ounces or 106 grams. <laughs> All right, now we're going to get into a bunch of bags because I also do things we're making Thursday. And the theme for that is bags. <laughs> the theme was bags for so I got a whole bunch of bags here that you probably may have already seen. You've probably seen most of these projects. All right, this is the hat made with that, call it the thick nylon-y t-shirt-y type yarn. This is the one where I didn't like how the bottom was because it's all caved in the bottom. Because, yeah, I didn't like the bottom, but it'll still do its purpose. It'll hold stuff. It's a bag, so. Most of the stuff I don't think I have. If I have, I don't know if I have all, I have probably the most, most of these were bag o' day patterns, but I know I think uh, Bridget also has, that's, I mean, I did it my way and all these bags, except for one, most of these bags are, I did it my way. That's most of my stuff is, I did it my way. So this bag weighs 14.1 ounces. Or 400 grams. All right, this next hat is a little pattern, but it is my pattern, so it is done my way because it's my pattern. Yeah, this is my crochet market bag. This was done with. I can't think of the name of the yarn right now. If I think about it. Why can't I think of the name of the yarn for this? Anyway, it is light. I like the colors of this. 
Yeah. Get you to sit on the scale. That is 5.2 ounces. Or 148 grams. Alright. This next bag is mostly a Jada and Stitches pattern. So they got this. Her initial pattern was meant to be a small bag, but I used, you know, a bigger hook, a thicker yarn, and made it into a big market type bag. Her, her pattern is normally a drawstring bag, but I added some handles to this one. Like how this one turned out. Pretty cute bag. Ooh. That is 7.3 ounces, 206 grams. All right. This last bag is actually a new work in pro, a new finished project because you haven't last the last things were making Thursday. I was almost done with it, but I wasn't quite done with it. And now we're done with it. I think oh, I think I made the handle. It's a little. I think I made too wide of a handle, but. This definitely done did not follow a pattern, but this is the bag where I was inspired when I made it's the week I made this hat with the alternating front and back post double crochet and I thought that would look cool in the bag and I was not wrong. I think that looks cool in this bag. I didn't like the yarn for this bag, but I do like the end result. So this is the finished bag that I think you're seeing now for the first time. Scale. This bag weighs 13.5 ounces or 384 grams. And my final project, which I was hoping to have gotten done for Stash Down 2023. You've probably seen this one already. It's the t-shirt is done. Yeah, this this took almost a year to make, and I finally I got it done in March because I decided to make this part of the mystery yarn challenge for March. And the mystery yarn challenge is hosted by Lori at Armchair Chef, and it was to actually buck down, buckle down, and finish a project, and I did. But now finally finish this t-shirt. So happy. So happy to get this done. Yes. It's like, yes, we got it done. Finally, finally. Ugh. This t-shirt weighs 12 ounces. So 340 grams. Actually, I had one more project yet. We we're going to wait for Things We're Making Thursday because the theme for Things We're Making Thursday is granny squares. And I got this granny square shawl done with Barbie. And I did technically finish this and I got it finished at the end of March. So, weigh this little. Oh, it's already up, still up yet. It's only 15 grams or 0.5 ounces. So, yeah. I had that. My first Things Are Making Thursday project, Granny Square project done. All right. That is that is everything. Which is like a lot of everything. So, the next coming month, I hope to have, if you've seen my what I tend to do for mystery yarn challenge was to finish a cardigan. So hopefully we will see that next month. Probably see more a granny, at least a granny square project, which I started, which I'm going to start or had actually started that one. And I'm trying to get another whatever, yeah, more hats because we do the body hat poses, so you'll see more hats. And that is it. A lot, a lot of stuff. So yeah, if you noticed, 
I almost miss Buddy back here in the background. He is Buddy is also, if you've seen any of my past videos, came out of West Virginia from K and K Crochet. They're trying they're passing Belle, who is in Australia right now, and Buddy, which will be in Nebraska for a little bit longer because he's just going to Omaha. So yeah, he is well met he's gonna be missed. So he's gonna be shipped off today. With the day the, today, the day I'm making this video. Not sure if this video will come out the same day, but so and also I think other works in fact I might throw some extra works in projects, but that might was I one of the things that uh when I had Buddy out I had him at yeah, church one one of the days out uh, during the fellowship time they noticed him and I had, I think I had two people come up and tell me to start can you make me uh, like a pair of slippers and one of them wants to make uh, like a manatee and I'm, you know everybody there you know it's a small church everybody knows everybody they already know I crochet and stuff but buddy i know somehow buddy attracted me to orders i did start and I, I did gonna do a knitted slip slippers so i did start knitted slippers which doesn't look like it could be slippers but we're gonna follow and trust the pattern so yeah so i started slippers and the other one just aggered the other one i was asked was aggered with me i'll probably get that in soon it's only a little manatee It'd be kind of cute all right that is enough babbling so if you did like this video please give it a like if you can see more content like this please subscribe to my channel thank you always for watching and we'll see you in my next video bye now